Hi everyone, Christmas is just around the corner, which means that it might be time to play a game of Secret Santa. Now, if you are organizing a game of Secret Santa, it would mean that a lot of admin work is involved in drafting up a list of participants and then trying to match people up. Now, you might also use online generators, online list generators, which might help. But did you know? that you can do everything that you need about Secret Center using nothing but just a spreadsheet. That's right, just a Google spreadsheet. You could even use Office, Microsoft, Excel. Uh, but in today's video, we'll take a look at uh, generating Secret Santa assignments uh, using nothing but a spreadsheet. So to begin with, let's open a blank spreadsheet you can also just type in spreadsheet dot new and hit enter in the browser and it will automatically open a new spreadsheet for you so to start off with what we want to do is we want to create two columns we'll start off with creating one column first which is the center and who's going to be the center or the person gifting now I will just paste in a bunch of random names uh, just for this video, just for this example. But of course, if you are organizing a secret Santa round for your team or for your friends or for your family, then you would paste in or type in their names in this column. Now what we want to do is we want another column which would be called Santi or the person receiving the gift, right? So you can obviously name the columns as, as, as you like. You don't have to name it Santa Sandy. You could just name it A or B, uh, doesn't really matter. But what, uh, what we want to do is you want to copy the exact list and paste it in here as well. Now you have two columns uh, with the names of the people who are participating in Secret Santa. And at the moment, it is the exact uh, replica. Both the columns are exactly the same. Now, what we want to do is we want to randomize it so that people gift different people and obviously not themselves. So let's select this range in Google Spreadsheet. You can just click on the cells and just drag it and you can select that particular range. Then click on data and then click on randomize range. So now you can see that the same list with the same names have been randomized uh, and that saves you the uh, trouble of manually randomizing the assignments and um, giving different people different centers and centies. So now that was easy, but it could also happen that while you click this button, because it is such a random thing, there might be rows which actually have the same name. Now in this case, uh, at a glance, that's not the case, but it could also happen. So let's take a look at how we might want to uh, add some uh, checks in place so that we are, high, we are alerted if this happens. So let's say, for example, I will uh, update this list so that this last row is actually the same the same person on bo in both the columns. Now what we want to do is you want to select this range, this column, and then click on format and click on conditional formatting. Now over here, we want to add a custom formula. This custom formula should tell us if the values in column A is equal to or matches the value in column B. And then if it does match, we want it to highlight it to us, highlight that cell in column B. This would mean that it is very clear if such a mistake has happened, which means that uh, we need to randomize this names or this range again so that this does not happen, or you can even manually correct the assignments. So in terms of the formula, what we want to do is we want to apply to the range. In this case, it is 
because we have automatically selected the entire column B, it has automatically applied the range. But if you wanted to, let's say, not apply it to thousand rows, we could just apply to the range that we're working with, which is just 12 rows. Uh, and that would just mean it's just till B12. But for now, let's just leave it at 20, just in case uh, we'll keep it quite free. Now, in terms of the rules itself, we will select a custom formula. Now, for the custom formula, we'll start with an equal to and then a dollar and start with a and then repeat the same thing again. So what we are saying is get me the value of the cell in column A. Now usually you would have a number, but this is sort of, this is a generalized version of the formula. So it is just smart enough to apply it quite dynamically. Uh, and all we need to say is just get me the cell. We are going to repeat it for every row. Uh, so every uh, row of the column A. So we do that and then we say is that equal to the value in column B. Right? And if this formula matches, so now this formula is has, has been applied to all of these cells over here. So if this formula matches, just highlight it with the red color and just click on done. So there you go. Now this has highlighted to us that cell number 12 is actually a duplicate so which means we can now go ahead and correct it so we can correct it to this one there you go so now that we have corrected it um, the highlighting has disappeared the other thing that could happen is that a could be gifting b and b could be gifting a so we don't want that recursiveness to exist we don't want that loop where two people are just gifting each other. So what do I mean by that? So in this particular example, let's say if Libby was gifting Ella, Ella could also be assigned to Libby, which means that this is now a uh, loop. Uh, the person is just gifting each other. We don't want that to happen. And instead we want uh, our spreadsheet to alert us if that if such a loop exists so how do we solve this problem we use a bunch of more formulas and we start off with a v lookup so we create a third column which says who is sandy and then we write the formula v lookup we are searching for in this case libby and then we are searching in the range A to, to B12. And then the result should be from the second column of this range. So we'll type in two and then we don't, well, things are not sorted. So we'll type in false and click on enter. All right, so what does V lookup actually do? It starts off with the search term, which is B2. So it searches for Libby Frost, that is the search term. It searches that in the first column of the range that you specify. So in this case, our range is A2 to B12, which is just a two column range. So it searches for that and it finds Libby Frost in row number 11. Now, in terms of the returned result, we have specified number two. So the third parameter is the index. That is the uh, the column uh, which will be returned that or which which the formula will look at to return. So because it found Libby Frost in row number 11, it is going to look at the same row, row number 11 in column number two. And it, it found Ella May. So it is going to return as that result. Now, similarly, what we want to do is we want to just drag this across down and there you go. Now we have auto populated using the formula to find out who is our Santi gifting. So we're just trying to figure out the loop. Now, as you can see, after this formula, it is very clear that Libby Frost is gifting Ella May and Ella May is gifting 
Libby Frost. So we already can see that manually, but now we need to automate this. We need to automate this check. So let's click on this B column, column number two, and add a, another conditional formula. So let's click on column, column B and then click on format and conditional formatting and then add another rule. Now this rule also let us apply it to only 20 rows and we will specify a custom formula which in case is quite actually similar to the first formula. So it starts off with dollar a colon dollar a and then we say that if that value is equal to but in this case we don't specify cell number b we will use cell number the value from cell number d or column number d which is a dollar d colon dollar d and if that is the case let us just highlight it with orange or yellow now as you can see that this formula is highlighted to us that two people are just gifting each other now because we know that we can break the loop and we can assign a different person to one of the uh, cells which would break the loop. So now I've assigned a different person and now everyone's gifting a different person for Christmas. So far so good. Now you have already a list of people of the Santas and Santis and you might think that is it that we are done with it and yes you're right. Um, technically this is what you might require uh, but what about uh, messaging all your Santas who they are going to send a gift to. Now we can automate or we can uh, use some formulas to automatically generate a message as well. Now how do we do that? Let's add another column called message and over here let's use some formulas again. So concatenate we're going to concatenate multiple values. So we're going to concatenate A2 and we're going to say A2 you will be gifting and we're going to say B2. So as you can see, we have printed a nice message and of course you can change this message as you like, but essentially we are just using a simple concatenate spreadsheet formula to concatenate our message and insert the name of the sender and the sendy inside our message. Now we want to personalize this a bit. So we don't maybe, you know, we don't want the full name to appear. So how do we do that? We don't want uh, we don't want the full name of the Santa to appear in the message because that's who we are messaging and we might not want the whole name. So let's split the Santa's name. Uh, and to do that, what you can do is you can add another formula here. Split A2 on the character space because the first name and the last name is split by a space so we will split and when you hit enter it automatically splits it for us into two different cells now we can drag this here all the way down and this has split all the Santa's first names and last names into two different cells now we'll go ahead and update our message so instead of using a2 we'll use e2 and that means that now our message is a little bit more human. Uh, it just uses the Santa's first name and says, hey, first name, you will be gifting uh, the entire, the full name of the Santi. So that's obviously one way to do it. Uh, but I want to show you another way of splitting the first name and the last name. Obviously, this is super easy, but it does rely on having two extra columns, which you may or may not want. So first, let's actually delete these values. And then let's go back to our formula to say A2. There you go. And repeat that down. So now we are back with what we had before, which is the full Santa name. Now let's edit this formula. So instead of, so 
we'll still use A2. But what we'll do is we'll use a split right over here and we'll split A2 with a space. But of course, that, as you can see, will just split and paste both the first name and the last name in the same string, which we again do not want. So it'll look like this. Again, this is probably not what we want. So to get just the first name out of this split, uh, so if you imagine the split happening on a white space, that results in two different characters. The first character or the first word is Tegan, the first name, and the second word is the last name. It is two different words and we can actually get which part of this word we want by either saying we want, you know, whatever is on index number one or whatever is on index number two. Now, how do we get that? We use index to get the values. So instead of one and two together, we just get number one with this formula and there you go. So now what we're saying is we say split the Santa's first name and last name with a space and that gives us two parts number one and number two and using the index formula we are getting the first part which is this one here first part of these this split so if I actually instead of one if I say two you can see it actually prints the last name instead of the first name so you can do that and then we just drag it down uh, and updates all our messages with what we want. All right, so a quick recap, we covered a lot of things. So quick recap, we start off by pasting uh, the names of our Santas uh, and then copying the names into another column. Then we select the range and then using data and randomize range, we click on randomize range to mix mix up this whole range. Uh, so that means we have uh, a different Santa and Santi combinations and not obviously the person gifting themselves. After that, we have selected column number B uh, and we have inserted some conditional formatting. The first formatting tells us if the cell in column B matches the cell in column A. So that means we are just highlighting if a person is just gifting themselves. And the second formula is to highlight if A is gifting B and B is gifting A. So Santa is gifting Santi and Santi is gifting Santa. That's obviously optional, uh, but you know you might not want that combination. Now to do the second formula, what we did was we created an other column here and used VLOOKUP to find who is the Santi gifting. And that's how we found the connection if A is gifting B and B is gifting A. So we found that uh, and after that we just basically copied that formula across the entire column uh, and then our conditional formatting did the trick. And then finally we looked at creating a message. We used concatenate to concatenate the names of the Santa and Santi into our uh, message. So there's multiple strings that we can concatenate it with. We are using split so that we split the uh, Santa's first name and last name uh, into two parts. And we're getting the first part, which is just the first name using index. So index says, give me the first part of the split operation uh, and then that will get concatenated into the message. Uh, obviously, you can also get the second part if you wish to, but for this message, we don't really want that. So that was uh, Secret Santa assignments using Google Spreadsheets. I hope you like this video and if you do, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, also, do comment below if you have used this for your Secret Santa assignments uh, or if you plan to use it for Secret Santa assignments. Um, and then finally, do subscribe to this YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos to come on this channel. That's it for this video. I uh, wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas uh, and Happy Holidays and of course a Happy New Year as well. See you next time.